Hello and welcome to our third Dev Talk, talking about Battlegrounds Season 4. I'm Mitchell. I'm Gia. And today we're going to be talking about pirates. Yarrr! <laughs> Now, right when we get started, I want to talk about a big change coming to Pirates, which is that there's been a mutiny. So on Tier 5, Captain Hogger has been removed from Battlegrounds. Now, we did this for a couple reasons, but the biggest was to free up lots of space for Pirates' new identity, which is all about spending and generating lots of gold. That's right, and it begins with Salsi Busker on Tier 1, replacing Dex Swabby. And because the battle cry is gaining you one gold next turn, the timing on playing it is very important. And that extra gold is especially useful for something like Gunpowder Courier, which is one of the minions that cares about spending all that gold. Specifically, after you spend five gold, it will give all of your pirates plus one attack. So it's a great way to scale up your minions as you're doing all of this fun economy stuff. Yeah, pirates have always had a bit of attacking identity going on, and so we thought it appropriate to give them a cleave effect in Blade Collector. Worth noting that we've removed Cave Hydra from Beast, so there's still only two cleaves in the game, Faux Reaper and this guy over here, which can get very scary real quick with all of the attack gaining synergies available with your extra gold. On tier four, there's also Underhanded Dealer, which is another great piece of this comp, uh, that after you gain gold, it will get plus one, plus one. This will work with any sources of gold generation, the gold at the start of your turn, the gold from Southie Busker, the gold from selling minions, gold from coins. There's lots of ways that you can trigger this minion's effect and get it really large. And when you have all of that gold saved up, the best thing to do is, of course, spend it. And top that turn off with Lovesick Balladist, which will give a pirate plus one health for each gold spent this turn. Somewhat reminiscent of Gallywix's buddy, but specifically for pirates to make sure that they're not just glass cannons. Pirates are also going to get access to their own upbeat minion, which is a cycle that we're doing in Season 4, which is minions that will do a special effect every couple of turns. In this case, upbeat impressionist at the end of every two turns will transform a random minion in your, your hand into a golden one. This is especially powerful because you can spend the first turn finding the pirate you want to goldenize, and then once it's in your hand, get it to transform into that powerful golden version. And one of the best pirates to make golden is Record Smuggler over here, which is strong even on its base form, which at the start of your turn gets you one gold, and then you repeat that for each other friendly pirate. So if you've got a full board of pirates, you can start your turn with eight extra gold, and that's eight procs on Underhanded Dealer, and eight gold that you can spend on this next card. Exactly. The last card that we have on Tier 6 is Fleet Admiral Tethys which is a powerful capstone that can lead your pirate fleet to victory. After you spend eight gold, it's gonna get a random pirate added to your hand, which is great for giving you extra things to synergize with your underhanded dealer, with your Peggy Sturdy Bones, as well as more ways to find those powerful battle cries that you want to be playing for pirates. And my favorite thing about Tethys is that it really embodies still the sort of high octane, plenty of treasure saved up and then spending and doing a lot of actions spirit that pirates have always had. But it's a bit more measured and controlled than Hogger because we wanted to avoid the sort of frustrating scenarios where you can't go quite as fast as you want to or spend all of your gold that was possible before. Pirates, though, still very strong. Absolutely. We're also making a few tweaks to existing pirates, starting with Rip Snarl Captain which is going to go all the way down to tier two. But whenever a friendly pirate attacks, it's only going to give it attack. We thought this was important so that pirates had a, a, a build around minion on the lower tiers so that they can kind of fall into pirate's identity, as well as giving early synergy with stuff like Scallywag. We're also bringing back Bloodsail Cannoneer, which is a great minion to find while you're cycling through using your gold to refresh. Or also getting it generated by Fleet Admiral Tethys to make sure that especially your Blade Collector can get bigger and stronger. Finally, we've made a small change to Vanessa Van Cleef. Her stat line's been tweaked around a couple times, but we've come full circle back to our 3-7. But we've decreased the power of her buff from plus 2 plus 2 down to plus 2 plus 1. Um, this should get her a little more in line with the appropriate power, uh, while still, being, still giving pirates access to a strong tool. Mitchell, I think that's it. We've covered all the pirates. We've sailed the seven seas. Exactly, and we've seen seven of the new minion types that are coming into Battlegrounds, but there's still more. We've got three more types coming over the next few weeks, so make sure to tune in on May 15th, where we're going to be talking all about demons. Thanks for watching.